Kendrick, and this is a pause for parody. On December 2nd, 2007, I stood in front of you and claimed that I would remain pure until marriage. I must now stand in front of you and repent for taking advantage of sin and destroying what I stood for. I thought that simply asking for forgiveness every time I messed up would be acceptable. In God's eyes, it wasn't. God wanted so badly to change me, but I wouldn't let him. I loved my sin, and I continued in it. All God wanted for me was to surrender all I had and to follow him. I didn't want to give up the ways of the world, and I thought I was going to be okay. I was wrong. Romans 6, 19 says, Just as you used to offer the parts of your body in slavery to impurity and ever-increasing wickedness, so now offer them in slavery to righteousness leading to holiness. This meant that I needed to give up my old ways. I was dwelling on the sin of my life, and it was causing me to stop growing with Jesus. After repenting to others, I recommitted my life and pure walk with God shortly after we all stood up in front of church to stay our purity. When Joey asked me to do pause for purity, I was like, well, I really don't know what to talk about because I'm already being physically pure. I realized that sexual purity isn't all that pause for purity was about. In Pastor Bob's Wild at Heart seminar, he talked about a woman's role in a relationship and the godly approach to love, dating, and marriage. He told us that we need to stay locked in the tower, hide the key, and wait for Prince Charming that we deserve. Too many girls lower their standards, and I did this. Too many girls lower their standards and come out of the tower before the man comes to rescue them. I lowered my standards, and I lived in a sinful relationship. This was not the plan that God had for me. So instead, I'm destroying the key I'm, and not giving the opportunity to come down and use it. I am waiting for the man of my dreams to storm the tower and come to rescue me. I now want to live purely in everything I do. I want to love and submit to my husband someday the way that God designed me to. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. God saved me and he forgave me. Without his grace, I wouldn't be here today. Because Jesus died on the 